What is up everybody, Bootman here, and we are back with another Marvel Snap video. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this card. I know a lot of people got her, a lot of people didn't, but I wanted to show you uh, a deck that I've been playing because I was not gonna get this card. I got her at the last minute, I used tokens. But anyways, anyways, I wanted to go over a deck with you that I had a lot of fun playing on my way up to infinite and had some pretty decent results. All right, but before we get started, if you're new here, hi, my name's Chris, I also go by Bootman. And yeah, I go over a bunch of different decks and card strategies to help you rank up the ladder and win in conquest mode. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And, and I got a pretty exciting announcement for all of you. Actually, I got two exciting announcements. One of them, go over to my Twitter. Uh, in my pinned tweet, I have a giveaway going on right now. I'll probably pick winners this weekend, but Marvel Snap hooked us creators up with a uh, premium mystery variants. That's right, premium, okay? No pixels. Premium mystery variants and a bunch of credits. So I'm picking two winners. Each winner will get a premium mystery variant and a thousand credits, all right? Go over to my Twitter, at BootmanMSTZ. It's linked down in the description below. The second, the second exciting announcement, which won't even like be on some of your radars, okay? But I got a new monitor, all right? I've been making Marvel Snap, Snap content like since global launch, like around then, like maybe a month after. And the monitor I had was like a very weird resolution. It was like 1900 by 1200. So when you like watch it on your phone, I think, like there was weird like bars either on the sides or top and bottom. Well, whatever, I got a new monitor, so everything should be looking nice and proportional. I actually got a new graphics card and everything because I've been really into Marvel Rivals. So when that comes back, but anyways, anyways, you're like, shut up, Chris, just get into the deck. Fine, I will, okay? But I'm pretty excited about this stuff. All right, so let's jump into it. So this is a bunch of just like little cards that do some big things, all right? This uh, deck came from uh, Jeff Hoagland, uh, just a little sage, okay? The first question you're gonna ask, and oh my God, you guys, I'm, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to be okay. I'm gonna try to be cool with you, but holy crap. Like the other day I was losing my mind because the USA agent was in the deck and like two minutes in, I talked about a replacement and I, I saw people on Twitter in my comments like, hey, what's a, what's a USA a agent replacement? It's like, watch the video. Just watch the video. You guys, you guys don't, please, I'm, I'm just gonna educate you about content creation because I know it's not malicious. I know it's not malicious from a lot of you guys, but listen, if you come to a video and just like look at the deck and then leave, that completely screws content creators, okay? That screws us over so bad because YouTube algorithm is looking at watch time, average watch time. So if you come here for two seconds and you leave, like just because you look at the deck and say, hey, what's a replacement for this and bounce, it screws us up. Like I said, I know it's not malicious, but you, you need to know about this stuff. Also, like some of us put deck codes in the description, some of us don't. I do it because I love you, but if you're just coming here, grabbing the deck code and leaving, oh, oh, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. All right, I got a, uh, like, I got a full-time job. I, I try to make these in the morning before work when I can. So please just do me a favor, do all of us content creators, if you want to support us, just watch all the way through, engage with the content, comment, whatever. Anyways, replace USA agent. Uh, I, don't, I don't like replacing him in this deck. The other deck I went over, I said Lizard. You yeah, you can't use Lizard in this one, I don't think, because it doesn't have a, doesn't have Luke Cage. Something I was thinking about was um, like Goose. Goose would be pretty good right now. Um, I'm also thinking, I also think that um, Echo is a very underplayed card right now with all of the ongoing going on, okay? But uh, yeah, USA Agent, like you have nothing over uh, for cost, so USA Agent tags up, and it's a great turn six surprise play. But anyways, we're using bounce, uh, not bounce, but Bast, just to kind of make our numbers bigger. We got Havoc in here. You can often play Havoc out on turn five and still get like three or four cards out on turn six. So it's a really cool deck. I don't think it's the best deck by any stretch of the imagination, but it's a good solid deck. Um, we also got Snow Guard here to mess with, um, you know, Limbo and just locations and stuff like that. Um, but speaking of, maybe you even wanna toss in like Quake or something like that. But yeah, we have Sage. The cool thing about Sage in this deck is that all of these, like most of these cards are changing numbers regularly. So it activates Sage, all right? But anyways, let's jump into some games. Uh, those of you who are new, I show the losses as well. I don't wanna overhype any decks, even though I told you this deck isn't the best deck, but I want you to see what the bad matchups are, things that can go wrong, user error, all that. I'm gonna talk to you a little bit more about Sage when we jump into some maps matches because I know you want to see some gameplay. All right, let's do this. So anywho, I discussed this in the podcast about Sage, but one of the things was for some reason, my stupid brain 
my stupid brain was saying that she gets power based on cards with different costs, right? Even though it's different power. And I was like, man, that's just way hard to, way too hard to meet that criteria, but it's different power. But anyways, and this is what I recommend to everybody because every, the number one question we get aside from what's a replacement card is um, like, should I get this card, right? And like, oh, interesting. Um, it's like, should I get this card? And something that I will always say is, uh, you, you, there's no rush. There's no rush. If you want to use um, tickets, tokens, uh, whatever, um, just just wait. Just wait. You have six, seven days. You know what I mean? That's what I did. I waited. They left. But anyways, I waited. I got her at the last minute, even though I bought her with tokens. But like, you don't have to get the card the first day. Don't let FOMO get you. See if the card looks good and fun. You know, whatever. All right, let's jump to the next game. But yeah, do I think Sage is like the best card ever made? No, but something I noticed was she was often getting to like a 3-8, 3-10 regularly, right? That is a very, very good stat line for a three power card. So I ended up um, picking her up, but also because I always say the, the ideal scenario is that you're gonna find cards that are crossed between good and fun. Fun is like decks you like to play. I like to play decks like this with a bunch of little cards that make big numbers, catch people off guard, because it's hard for them to predict what you're doing. And um, they'll stay in, you can steal some cubes. But uh, yeah, like, um, ooh. Uh, so yeah, that's why I got Sage. So this is about to get silly, huh? This is kind of cool. Yeah, so like one of the issues right now is um, all the clutter and junk and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm going to do this. They have priority. Okay, cool. Hopefully they do a little Widow's Kiss middle, but they'll probably do it right if they're gonna do it somewhere. Oh, psych. Yeah, the, everybody's doing lockdown. So I think I'm gonna win this, by the way. Um, so now I have priority. So I can do this. I can do this and I think they might be screwed. They might leave with this. So like here, like look at Sage, she's going to capitalize on all this except for these two, you know what I mean? But that's one, two, um, if I move this, then uh, USA agent is fine. But yeah, look how much power I'm gonna get from two, uh, two Elsa's. Um, now, now they could, they could have a cannonball, which is in trouble right now. Deep space is kind of saving our butt. <laughs> Everybody always forgets about the asteroid. Um, Huh, is that what I wanna do? Like, that'll get boosted. They can't put any more power here, but I could probably get more here, right? Maybe I do this. I have four energy left. I do this and this. That might be good. I think that's good, right? This will go away. I'll win there. I think we're fine. I think we're good. They should they should probably retreat. They might have cannonball, and if they do, it'll be a very weird cannonball. Okay, dude. <laughs> All right, you did it. <laughs> so uh coming from somebody who plays a lot of cannonball, like they should have left. 
they should have left, right? Like, were they, I guess they might've been hoping that I didn't think they, that I didn't know they had Cannonball in their deck. You know what I mean? But as long as I didn't fill a lane, as long as I didn't fill this lane, they were just moving it over. I automatically won this lane. This was a terrible stay. So just a little Marvel Snap education, right? But look at this too. Like, there's a lot of games that are lost just by not doing simple math. I'm terrible at math, but like, you know what I mean? They could have looked at these numbers and said, oh, even if I bump a card out of here, even if I destroy it, right? And here's the thing too. Let's say I filled over here and they knocked it and destroyed my card. This would have been a zero. So I actually would have won this lane. You know what I mean? So simple math, do some. All right, next game. All right, what are we working with? Okay, you know, it'd be sick. It'd be sick if we got like a turn one bass, right? Um, I guess we'll do this. Then I could do, I could do a turn six Medusa if I wanted to, you know what I mean? Okay. So yes, as mentioned, there's a lot of clutter running around. This makes me think of goblins, little goobly goblins. This makes me think even more of goblins. So now what we want to do is one of these, one of these, and then we're going to have to think about where might they Professor X, but this guy, this little Jeff, he'll be sitting good. You know what I mean? This Jeff will be sitting a pretty. So they don't know if that's my four power Mysterio. That's where things get fun. You know what I mean? Now, something I can do is Usually I like to surprise them with the, um, whatchamacallit, with the USA agent, but I might drop him. No. No, here's what we'll do. We'll get some extra power here. We'll do that. So this dude will be eight. So even if they drop their, we're gonna be at five. Yeah, even if they drop their um, Jeff over here, we're fine. I think, I think we're good. I think we're good on this. Like, trying to think what they could do. They could drop a, uh, like a hobgoblin over here. Now, now, keep in mind, they could have cannonball. We remember that other cannonball person, right? So they could cannonball, but Wakanda is a very, very nice location. So as long as we fill up over here, will be Gucci. Also, they don't know if that's a four power Mysterio. <laughs> Mysterio, he could be anything, anywhere. It's a mystery, you know? Okay, all right. So I was going to I think I'll do that, that, and that, and I'm 98% sure we win. 98%, there's a 2% chance that we lose. 98, down in the comments, let me know. Let me know, say, Chris, you're wrong. You're gonna lose on this. The best card I can imagine them having, having right now is, uh, is Cannonball. Now, this deck that they're playing, I was actually gonna make a video on it. I think they have Sage. This this makes me think that they're playing a Sage deck. The one I, I had didn't use a Daredevil because I'm not a wimp. You know what I mean? Oh, 
Oh, that's cute. Mmm. Mmm. That was cute. <laughs> oh, boy. See, you can beat these lockdown decks. And by the way, I don't, I don't mean to shame anybody. I love playing these decks. I love them. Professor and X, Professor X and Cannonball. I was just looking at the post infinite stats. Still like the best deck. But yeah, I was gonna make a video on this deck. I might still, it's a, it's a pretty fun deck. I actually used it for a bit of my climb this season. Um, but yeah, uh, this person, um, they just got used like a doormat. Let's do another game. <laughs> this is funny, we're off to a great start. <laughs> They're like, they got a white palace. They got one of these. Um, should I? I'm not gonna own anything, right? The thing is, I feel I feel like I can get some good value out of holding this bass for a second, right? Let's see. There are there's one, two, three, four, five cards that I can pull that bass could do some good things to. These two cards are not them, but hey. Oh, 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 oh. All right, that is good enough for old Chris. Let's do one of those. These two are gonna get knocked down, but they'll get up again. Um. Oh, we're gonna do one of those. We're gonna do one of, one of those guys. Oh my God, oh my God. This just in. Oh my God. Oh, they're doing, they're doing one of these, okay. And this, if they're running Surfer, right, that's gonna, that's gonna mess them up because they can't run their, um, whatchamacallit. Oh, nice Medusa. This, this curve is killing me, killing me. Killing me. I just, ugh. I want to have it right now and just be capped at four energy. Uh, I don't think I can. This is bad. This, this could have gone so much better. This is going to screw up their thing. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, this might just be bad for us. This might just be bad luck. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I think we sacrifice that lane. Okay, so this goes up to seven. God dang. This is just, this is awful. This is just no good for us. So even if I do this, that'll be two plus, so we'll go up four here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sucks, like we could have beat that. We could have beat that with the right draws. You know what I mean? Why did I hit, why did I hit, why did I hit retreat later? I'm just gonna edit this out. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, let's do one more. Here we go, now that's a curve. And by the way, I don't tell many people this, I'll tell you, but uh, God, I just find Silver Surfer decks so boring. So, so, so boring. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I think I'm just gonna keep working on you. Ooh, that's an interesting twist of events. I lost. Ooh, dang. Dang. We're gonna get some big things going over here. Some big things. I was wondering, I was like, is this a negative deck? Like that's usually when you see Psylocke, but like, yikes. Um, a great pull would probably be Angela. 
they might are they gonna um magic but then snow guard would be a great pull come on snow guard come on snow guard come on snow you're not snow guard but this this card right here is insane. It is in insane. I kind of want to get this girl big. I don't want to get her big right there. But dude, USA agent against uh freaking um that dude. Who's that dude? Who's that dude? Who's a man? He's Iron Iron Man. Iron Man. USA agent against that card is just sick nasty so we'll do this we'll do this i kind of don't want to drop this yet and i don't think i have to you know what i mean Hopefully they play out some cards and I can do something silly. Let's look at this. Two, five, seven. Oh God. Oh God, you guys. Oh Lord. Um, Here, 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 here. This is probably a bad state. Remember that other game when I was like, just do the math. Just do the math. You know? Actually, how big is Sage going to be? This will be kind of big, right? Now, the problem is, the problem is... I wonder if I abandon middle. I do five plus 13, that's 18, 19 over here. I don't think they can get more power over here. And that'll be bigger. Remember I said to do the math, I'm gonna preemptively mute because they're gonna be like, because <laughs> I think they might mystique over here. Now, if they mystique in the on the right, we might be screwed. Oh, dang, the claw. The claw. That'll do it. See, that should have been uh, some math right there. Remember, I told you, I told you user error. User error will get you. But yeah, um, yeah, we might, we, pro we might've been fine if, uh, I don't even know, I don't even know. If we would have brought that down to negative four, like if this didn't get negative, if it was just a normal card, you know what I mean? But also that's a good combo. That is a good combo right there too, because Iron Man doesn't buff the cards, he buffs the, the power. Anyways, anyways, let's wrap this thing up. All right, everybody, that is a fun little Sage deck. I like it, I like it. We got some good wins. We got some good wins there. Last couple, we lost, whatever. It happens. No deck is gonna get you 100%. But I hope you saw the potential right there. And like, like I was saying, like that one was a negative deck, but man, USA Agent, such a good card now. Like giving minus four, like the amount of tribunal decks and stuff that I've won, I've, I've beat just by like dropping USA Agent, like where they have their Iron Man path. Phenomenal, phenomenal. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.